So if we look at our profile here, we've got a gap here that is possibly going to be filled. And we've also got a top of a gap here at 23.1850. We've got a market that's kind of balancing and it's coming inside here. And this is my tape reader cumulative tick setup. And you can see here, tape reader has, is, is kind of weakening here. There's a little bit more selling on the bid, but still positive. And this number here, though, is relatively benign. I mean, you've got 427 negative on the cumulative tick. So what I'm thinking is that as we come into this level, the market will probably have difficulty trading um, through into the gap really quickly. It'll probably be a buy point here. So right around like 23.18.50 will probably be a buy point. And if we look at everything else here in our quad, you can see that our breadth is pretty benign. It's 1.2 and 1.4. And this is also not that big of a number on the downside. I mean, it's relatively healthy to the downside, but it's probably not enough to get, get things going in a big way. And also look at your low ticks. You've so far low ticked like minus 600. So this is very typical of a market that is inside of the prior day's range. You have to kind of know what type of day you're having. See how it's an inside day here. So you can see I've got a limit order at 23.19 to pick up at that uh, on that gap uh, on the top of the gap. And if the market doesn't go there at all, then it's a signal to be carried forward. If it doesn't go there today, then tomorrow is probably going to be a, another up day. It, you know, it's it's all about what the market is supposed to do, but shouldn't do, right? And notice how your your cumulative tick now is starting to improve in the bottom left here. You see how now we're at minus 244. And sometimes you can toggle between 15 minute and five minute to see a little bit more granular view. So you can watch closer on the, on the five minute. And you can see how this bar just went purple. Oh, well, it did for a second, but no. If it goes purple, it's higher than the prior bar. If it's yellow, it's lower than the prior bar. So it's trying to go purple a second ago, but it should because notice that now the market is rallying again back within back within this breakdown point here at 2322 so it's unfortunate that i don't have a better market to show you i really i really want to get into a live trade here to show you but i think even this is extremely educational to understand when you should be doing something when you shouldn't be doing something you can see here even i'll show you something like um here, I actually attempted something earlier, but notice that I got out immediately with a two tick loss because of everything that I was seeing. If it was, uh, if I had more conviction, I would, I would say, okay, I'll, I'll stay in this and maybe I'll add to it or whatever. But when I know it's this type of day and, and what I'm attempting is not going to work, I, you know, it just, just follow the signals and you know. So now we're rallying a bit. Let's see if cumulative, uh, and there's cumulative ticks starting to improve, right? For a second there, there we go. See how it's threatening to go purple? And now look here on the on the 15 minute, it's only minus 140. And we have look at the tape reader. Huge signal in the tape reader. So this is your net Q, net buys and sells bid and ask in the ES. And notice that it's actually moving up here. And the way you want to set this is because this is a tick chart and the above chart is a time chart. Notice that they don't line up, but you can synchronize your crosshairs. There's a setting in TOS. It's really easy to just, to just synchronize crosshairs. And when you synchronize your crosshairs, notice that in the top chart, it's mousing over where the, which candle I'm in. So when I'm reading the ticks here, like look at this. This is actually the low here. And notice that the tape reader bottoms out and it immediately starts coming up, which gives you the signal that... You know, if you were in a short there on the breakdown, like let's say you had shorted this breakdown right in here, you would have had a very strong signal to get out. And look what the market's doing now. Look at how hard the market's rallying. Look at this. Big move to the upside. And again, this is very, very typical in on an inside day when the market is 100% is within the prior day's range. So you're getting signals here. 
There you go. See, there's the inside day right there. So now if we keep looking at this, where would there be a trade signal? And I don't know. I mean, maybe, I mean, I do know, but perhaps this is a signal to the upside. But the problem is that you don't really have internals that would support such a thing. I mean, they can certainly improve over time. But right now, being one and one, you notice this has improved to minus 485. And look at down here. Now your cumulative tick is minus 109. So this is probably just going to continue to be a balancing day. And in the bigger picture, you probably wouldn't want to take this, this breakout, at least not today. You would probably mark this off for another for later. And your best bet would be balancing here today and then taking this after. Maybe you know tomorrow or, or whatever. Let's take a look at what's going on cumulative wise. So now, now notice your cumulative your tape reader is sitting up here higher. You want to pay attention to this number, which is the, the current number, the 12,000, 13,000 number. And again, the cumulative tick here on the 15 is minus 223. All right, let's shift gears a little bit here. Look at look at Amazon here. And I want to show you guys something. Like, look at look at the trend line here. And I apologize for not having the camera on right when this started, but I'm already in the trade. But notice that there's a perfect trend line touch here. So the game is to get long. Right, right at the trend line. And you want to have your order just a little bit above it. This is a pretty classic trade, especially on a choppy day, right? So notice that the entry is here, right? 831.55. So I'm in this. And why am I in 831.55? Well, look at it. Look at where 831.55 is. It's right here. It's just above the trend line. All right. Now I want to show you something even better. Look. I set the tape reader to Amazon. All right, look at the look at the crosshairs here and look at the top screen where the crosshairs move. So look at the low here. OK, so watch watch the top screen moving lower, 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 lower. And right here, look at the bottom. Amazon undercuts the prior low just by a little bit, fills me. The low here is 831.45. I'm in from 831.55, so I'm filled right there. And look at the tape reader. Look at the tape reader. It already bottoms out here in the prior bar. And it's already starting to move up like in this chop in, in the five minute. But it's just uncanny how people stop selling at the bid and start buying at the offer like right then, which is beautiful. It's just beautiful. So now target has got to be here. We'll draw a trend line here. And we can draw a trend line here. And this is target right here, basically. 834.86. So notice I've put the order out right there. Now I have this other 500 here to buy because I put it there just in case it undercut. And it read because it does that sometimes. And that's just typical in day trading where they're undercut. So usually what I want to do is I actually want to double the position instead of um, instead of getting out for a small loss. But I don't need that anymore. So notice that I put the target, he put the order out here at the target. And if we continue to monitor using our tools here, we want to see this start to rise. This is relatively flattish. We'd like to see a bigger move. And because of the, because the broad market is basically doing what it's doing, right? We know that we're still caught in the middle of the day's range. We're not really going for a big target. We're not interested in that. But we do have some upward movement in the ES. Cumulative tick relatively negative on the ES. I would say minus 1,200. But the key is here. Look at your breath. 1.38, 1.04. And we're starting to see a little bit lift here in the AD, but it's still relatively negative. So this is really not much is going to happen here on this day. but. But this, this is the exact type of environment where you would want this. This is the exact environment where you would want to play this, this because the 
odds are that on this type of day, you're just not going to break down through here. It's going to respect this line, and you're going to be fine. So not bad. We got a thousand in it, which isn't bad. But we're looking for more. We're looking for uh, we're looking for that move up to the 834. And I've got the order out at 834.56, I believe. Yeah, 834.56 because I want to be ahead of that line. So we're looking for that. Notice that it's starting to tick up here, right? Notice that the green is starting to move up and the total. So you see more of an accumulation of, of stock at the offer. And notice your, your chart. It's really starting to move now. 833.88, we're starting to move up a bit. So notice here, it's kind of flattish, but it's still holding. And we're getting a little bit of a push here, just a little bit. So I've moved the order down to 834.40. Because I'm just not all that impressed with the with the broad market here, but we should at least go to there. And if it starts to fail here, then I'll just I'll just jump out like like really quick. But this is good, isn't that? Notice that you do have a little bit of upward slope here. So obviously more people are buying on the offer. But again, if you look at the price action, it's really kind of lackluster. So I sold 300 here at the market, like 833, 60 or so, just to just to make sure to keep profit in case this starts to fall apart. And then notice here, I could probably move a stop here, 833, 10 underneath this bar, and see if we go to target. You know, obviously this is just a day trade, and the whole point of this is to show the confirmation here of how this really bottomed out right on time. It was just a perfect signal of how you can use tape reader as a uh, as a confirmation for for day trades which is which is kind of cool and where we got to go 833 let's go 833.10 right under that line so we'll go 833.10 right there i'll put it right underneath that that candle and then if we rally we'll still be out up in here And I think the reason why this isn't stronger, the tape reader, you're not seeing like a real you know, push to the upside in the stock is the fact that, remember, it's fighting against what's going on in the broad market. If I change this, you know, I mean, look at, look at the cumulative tick and look at your, you know, you know, as the ES has been moving up a bit here, ES is kind of sideways to up trying to move up, but look at your cumulative tick. It's really not really doing much because overall, this is still just a balancing day. This is a balancing day, which is an in, inside of the prior day's range, right? If you look at your daily here, look, it's a doji inside of the prior day's range because it's a balancing day. Why is it a balancing day? Because you're fighting against this. Uh, we just got that's that's our stop being hit on Amazon. So you can see we got stopped out, um, which is fine. So that's that was a decent trade. Um, but look at here. The reason you're having a balancing day is this: is because one, two, three, four straight up is not going to continue. You're going to have to have some sort of balance here, and that's why. So that's the thing. So anyway, that's that's this is good uh, good show of uh, of cumulative tick, and um, and uh, tape reader of how it works. And notice here, going back to Amazon, I'm just going to look at it one last time. You can see that you've leveled out, right? You're not the, the stock wants to be moving up, but it's really just kind of leveled out in terms of the net buys and sells at the bid and offer, right? And remember, if you're interested, this stuff is available under premium services. It's right here. Um, 
tape reader. I think this is a bargain. I think these are relatively cheap. I mean, one ninety five for these types of signals is amazing, and then cumulative tickets a lot less. It's ninety five. So. We've had uh, phenomenal feedback on it, uh, which has been great. So definitely, if you want to check that out. Also, I want to end uh, by telling you that if you go to shadowtrader.net and you click forward slash Dalton, you'll notice that he's back in business and he's doing the 2017 uh, intensives again, which is pretty awesome. And this is really cool because he's doing something different in that he's going to actually, I think, talk every day in between the two intensives and he's going to do like a hundred days all together like in between the two intensives they're still going to be teaching and it's like included i guess so he's doing like this whole long like hundred day thing which i think is going to be pretty amazing so there'll be like articles coming out every day i'm not sure if he's speaking like every day in between but there'll be you know there'll be like constant like teaching as like as like part of it so anyway check that out uh, shadowtrader.net and then it's shadowtrader.net forward slash dalton uh, you can you can check there for all that. All right.